And this time on Square Body Stuff, we're working on something that I've wanted for years, test stands, to start motors up on and break them in. But things don't go as planned. back everybody uh, not gonna be working on any trucks in this video I don't think but we're gonna be working on my engine test stand I'm gonna try to get it set up it's a uh, it's seen its better days but I've got some some gauges and switches and whatnot to put in there uh, Big four core, big block radiator, a couple electric fans. I think I'm going to use this plate here to use for my gauges. It was actually the cover off the back of this here that I'm not going to use. What I plan on doing is putting it on a, a pedal stool to where I can spin it around any direction wherever I'm standing on the motor or standing around the motor so I could see the gauges hopefully it all works out I've got a a little fuel tank off of a lawnmower hopefully it'll be enough to break a motor in run it for a few minutes if not I'll try to find a bigger fuel tank that's what I've got right now I'm not sure oh, it's sitting over on shelf right now I've got another battery to put in it too so just stick with me i'll kind of give you a play-by-play -play. i probably won't just set a camera up just to watch me do this stuff it'll be kind of boring but i'll keep you posted on what we come up with i'll probably get it all fabbed up as far as radiator mounts and all that stuff and then tear it down clean it up and repaint it because it's it's pretty rough looking pretty rusty one of the wheels doesn't roll at all right now. The casters are about shot, but I think it'll get me by for now. Maybe one of these days I'll I'll build a, a complete brand new one, but this is what I've got, and I'm gonna see what I like and scrounge up around the place. Try not to buy anything extra as far as parts to fab up with. Just use whatever metal I've got laying around and get it set up so I could test run some motors before I set them in a truck. Stand and 
see how it all is going to fit. Well, here's the first problem I'm running into with the way this thing is set up right now. It's, uh, it won't fit in between the legs of my hoist to make it easy to just set down in there. Issue number two. The stand, the front posts are for big block. You can see the way they're not going to line up with the holes on the front of the block which I never gave it any thought. I thought they were about the same on small blocks and big blocks. I've never measured them. Never really cared because I've never used those holes for mounting. Uh, so I need to come up with something to just mount to the motor mounts on the side of the block. So now I'm going to try to decide if I want to completely redo this one or go get some steel tomorrow and build one from scratch. Yeah, I think I've decided I'm just going to start from scratch because these headers headers aren't going to fit. You can see a little gap there. They're they're hitting there both sides. I think the amount of time and effort it's going to take to redo this stand, I'd be better off just starting from scratch. So I'll get out a piece of paper and a tape measure and start figuring out what I'm going to do. So now I've got the motor hung about the right height that I wanted at. I uh, scrounged up an old bell housing. I think I'm going to attach it to this bell housing instead of to the back of the block to give me more room underneath with my uprights. I'll be able to clear headers nice and easy. I think this will be a whole lot better setup than that right there. Kind of hate to scrap that whole idea, but maybe I could use it for something else. Okay, well, there's been a complete, total change of plans. I was going to actually build a complete brand new from scratch start stand or test stand uh, but I got to thinking last night at work that there's got to be a cheaper way to do this and where I want to go with all this whole project with most of my projects is I want to kind of keep this stuff to where about anybody can afford to do it or, or accomplish what I'm doing uh, so my idea was, is I've got an engine stand. I'll show you here. I've got a good engine stand. It's already been welded solid. And I've seen on YouTube several times where people have actually just started motors up on an engine stand and let it flop around, which I don't care much for that. So my plans from this point forward is... Uh, He's trying to stay out of the shop. There's Shelman. Shelman's going to help me. Uh, we're going to clean this up, 
we're actually going to weld these solid on the head of the engine stand because the only engines I deal with are smaller big block Chevys, anything with the, the, that Chevy bell housing pattern. So I'm not worried about adjustment on that. It's going to be set for the GM bell housing pattern. I'm going to weld that solid so I don't got to worry about those flopping around. And then I'm going to build some bracing to go from the motor mounts down to the frame of the engine stand. That way the motor is on a solid stand and the next part of it's going to be build a stand that uh, the stand itself is going to have the, the radiator, battery, fuel tank, gauges and all that stuff. That way I can roll that stand up to this, to whatever motor I've got on the engine stand and start it up. Have two separate deals. It'll be easier to to store. I won't have a, a whole nother big stand to keep storage somewhere. Be less room taken up and I think it'll be a whole lot better better deal. So that's where we're at now with this project. Tighten it down to uh, what five Ugga Duggas? Something like that. That's about right. <laughs> Wherever my finger stops. Yeah, we got the head all welded up. Not too bad of welds for just 6011 and a crappy welder. We'll get it stuck on the back of the block, get it set in the stand, and go from there. Okay, I think we've come to a good stopping point on, on this video uh, we're going to do a part two on this whole project uh, making a test stand to start motors up on uh, where we're at right now is we've got the braces made up for the engine stand i can take them off that way i can use the engine stand to build motors on roll it over whatever whenever i get done building a motor i can Put the braces on, roll it up to the test stand that we're fixing to build, and start the motor up, get it broke in, check it out before we actually put it in the truck. So stay tuned for part two of the test stand project.